Now here we are going to look at negative powers. Negative powers. I'll, I'll, I'll do that by do, looking at an example. Let's say we have here 3 raised to the power 2 divided by 3 raised to the power 4. Just like we did before, this is 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 which would be equal to this cancels this, this cancels this so this will be 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 1 divided by 3 raised to the power 2 so essentially we have shown that 3 raised to the power 2 divided by 3 raised to the power 4 is equal to 1 divided by 3 raised to the power 2. Keep this in mind. Similarly, what do we know? We know that xA divided by xB is equal to xA minus B. So that would mean that x that would mean that 3 raised to the power 2 divided by 3 raised to the power 4 is 3 2 minus 4 which is 3 negative 2 you see here it's 1 over 3 raised to the power 2 here is 3 raised to the power negative 2 so it is logical for us to conclude that to conclude that 1 over 3 raised to the power 2 is equal to 3 raised to the power negative 2. We call this negative powers. In other words, 1 over x raised to the power negative n sorry, raised to the power n will be equal to x raised to the power negative n. This we call negative powers. For example, 1 over 10 raised to the power 4 is equal to 10 raised to the power negative 4. Again, 1 over 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 2 raised to the power negative 3. Similarly, 1 over 3 raised to the power 5 is equal to 3 raised to the power negative 5. So, um, keep in mind that 1 over 3 raised to the power negative 2 is going to be equal to 3 negative bracket negative 2. Negative multiplied by negative gives us positive, so this is just going to be 3 raised to the power 2. So in essence, we know that 1 over x raised to the power negative n is just going to be x raised to the power n, which is just the reciprocal of what we did just above. So if you have any questions or concerns, please ask in the discussion forum right under this video. So let's do some examples. Example 1. Let's simplify 2 negative 3 multiplied by 2 5. This is the same as 2 negative 3 plus 5, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 2, which is equal to 4. Similarly, if we have 4 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 4 raised to the power half, this is the same as 4 raised to the power 2 plus 1 half, which is the same as 4 raised to the power 3 over 2. So this 
it's a fractional power and uh, we will deal with it later so if you have any questions please make sure you ask in the discussion forum below